In this video, we will show you how to replace your thermostat with housing on this Ford Ranger with a 2.3 liter engine. This will be located along the driver's side of your engine. Let's get into it. Let's get started on our job. Along the top of the coolant reservoir, we can remove the cap from the area. We'll just give that a quick inspection and set it aside. Now we can make our way under the vehicle so we can start draining the engine coolant. Now underneath the front of the vehicle, you're going to find that you have a plate that comes across the entire lower aspect of the radiator. That plate is held in place with four 13 millimeter headed bolts, two along each side. You'll also find that you have two push clips, one along each side. With that said, start off by removing the mounting bolts and then you can remove the push clips and lower this plastic unit down and out of the way. Inspect your mounting hardware as you remove it, replace it as necessary. There's this side, I'll do the same on the other side and then we'll move along to those push clips. For the push clips, you can use a small prying device. I'm using a trim tool. Let's set this aside. Now that we have the plate out of the way, we've exposed the drain for the cooling system. Make sure you have a collection bucket under this area. We'll continue on by turning the plug counterclockwise and wait until we see a steady trickle of fluid coming out of this area into our collection bucket. To help divert this into the collection bucket, I'll just be using a hose here. You don't necessarily have to do this. Keep in mind, coolant is a chemical. Don't get it on your skin or in your eyes. Let's turn this counterclockwise. Let's let this drain. Once you feel as though the coolant has drained out of the system, continue on to closing off your drain. Just make sure the pet cock's nice and tight. Get this out of here. At this point, we can put on our plate, align the push clips along each side, press them into position. Now we can install our four mounting bolts, two on each side. At this point, everything should be nice and tight underneath the vehicle. Now up inside the engine compartment, we'll be paying attention along underneath the power steering pump. That's where you're going to find your thermostat housing. On the thermostat housing, you'll find that you have two hoses leading to it. We're going to remove both of those. Go ahead and squeeze on the clamp, pull the hose out of place, give it a close inspection and set it aside. Do the exact same thing to the other. We'll just squeeze on the ears of the clamp and then we can pull this out of place. Once you have the hose clamp moved, we'll be using a hose pick. Carefully break that free without causing any damage to your hose because we will be reusing that. Now, as you slide this out of place, you do wanna make sure that you have your collection bucket under here. There's the possibility there's coolant. There we are. We'll just give that hose a quick inspection. Soft and pliable. Continue on to the larger hose. Our clamp's down along the bottom on this one. break this free. Still have the possibility of coolant this entire time. Quick inspection. 
Now that we have both of the hoses off of there, the next thing we'll do is continue on to removing all three of our 8mm headed bolts that hold this in place. I'm going to start with the lower one here. As always, we'll be inspecting the mounting hardware as we remove it, replacing it as necessary. Let's get that last one out of here. At this point, we'll take hold of the thermostat housing and remove it from the vehicle. Make sure we take that gasket with us. And there it is, friend. Once you have the thermostat out of there, the next thing you want to do is clean and inspect the mounting point. We'll just give this a quick wipe, double check to make sure there's no pre-existing gasket still in place. If you need to, you could use a flat blade razor. Just be careful not to damage the metal in any way. Just go nice and flat against this. We'll check the threaded area on each one of the holes. Okay, now we can install our brand new thermostat with housing. Double check to make sure the gasket is still in place. You just want to press it in firmly all the way around. Once you've done so, you can continue on to putting this in place. We'll align all of our mounting bolt holes, start in the mounting bolts. Once you have them in there, go ahead and torque those to 89 inch pounds. Double check to make sure it's completely secure. Let's continue on to the lower radiator hose. We'll take this and slide it into place on the thermostat housing, press it in as far as possible, and reinstall the clamp. A little bit of a tight fit, that's what you want. 
Now with these clamps, if they're stuck in this position, you will want to make sure that they retract up against that hose. We'll just use a pry bar or screwdriver and just gently try to separate this area. Careful for any pinch points. Make sure we get this clamp situated. We'll give that hose a nice tug, double check to make sure it's completely secure. Do the exact same thing to your other hose. Slide that on as far as possible. Get this clamp in position. At this point, we have everything fully mounted. Double check to make sure that the hoses are secure and that you did torque each one of those three mounting bolts. Once you've done that, we can continue on to cleaning up our mess over here and then filling the cooling system. Now it's time to fill the cooling system. When doing so, it's important to pay attention to the chart that's located along the front of the coolant reservoir. We want to be at approximately the maximum line when everything's said and done. What you'll notice is as you add coolant, it's going to start making its way down into the system and air will make its way up, meaning the coolant level will continue making its way down. Now some people will try to use a funnel to fill the cooling system, in which case you want to be careful in this instance because you don't want to go past the maximum line. The funnel's pretty much just great for not making a mess. Other than that, if you did happen to have a specialty tool like what I have here, we're going to make sure that while we're creating vacuum and we're starting to evacuate it by drawing fluid in, we're only going to make our way up to the maximum line and not past that. We'll be using the manufacturer specified fluid for this and of course making sure that it is mixed. point I'll get my tool set up. If you're using a vacuum system like I am, it's important to make sure that the system does hold vacuum. We'll just watch this gauge right here and make sure it doesn't drop down into the yellow or worse into the red. Now assuming that hasn't moved into the yellow or into the red, we'll continue on adding coolant. As you can tell, the coolant is making its way above the maximum line, but it's also drawing the coolant down at the same time. At this point, we're going to continue on by releasing pressure here. We'll allow this to make its way down and then we can top it off as necessary. Okay, the next thing you want to do is hop in the passenger compartment. Start up your vehicle and let it run for a little while. Allow it to get up to normal operating temperature. Have the heat setting in the hot temperature setting. At that point, the thermostat should open up and allow any air inside the system to be able to make its way out to this point and trickle out. The coolant will make its way down a little bit. Just go ahead and make sure it's topped off up to the maximum line. After you've run the vehicle and you're sure you have no air in the system, continue on with your coolant reservoir cap. Okay friends, we've got our vehicle back together. At this point, you want to go ahead and clean up your mess, check for leaks, and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.